All right, guys, thanks uh, for getting on. John Wetmore. Um, thought I'd do a quick little video. I had some, I have people often ask me about certain scenarios and had um, uh, someone call me a week or two ago. Um, Silvana actually was calling me about how I handled younger people. I guess someone told her. Um, I haven't had someone ask me about it in a little while. Um, to give you a little background on where I'm going with it, it's like how you handle younger people in the house. Um, and I was early on like not good at it at all with younger folks. Um, I think if I, and I, when I'm talking younger folks, to me, like early 20s, early mid 20s, a little bit more like immature. I always like joke with people and go, you know the ones that are like smoking weed and drinking before and after you get there and just want you to leave like that. Just y'all know the cut. If you've been out selling, you know who I'm talking about. Um, it's a feel thing for me when I change it up, but I stopped doing the, the I, I just did in-home different in that scenario for me. I think if I sat 10 of them, I probably sold like one or two early on. Um, I got a lot of, you know, I thought we had to do this. You know, let me check with my mom and dad. I didn't really know what, I got a lot of weird stuff. Um, and I got, I also found out that not a lot of them gave a crap when I asked what would happen if someone died. Um, and with that kind of combination of them not really caring, even though I think they did, but when I pushed, it wasn't like crazy urgent because they think they're gonna live another 140 years. Um, and with the, I thought I had to do this. I just decided kind of out of frustration to change what I was doing. Um, and I went from selling like one or two out of 10 to probably selling seven, eight out of 10 um, with, with this type of client. Again, if it's, if it's a more you know, mature family, again, a feel thing. Um, and if you're having success and or don't like what I'm saying, just don't use it. Um, but it worked for me, it was good. I, I, it changed um, my ability to sell. Um, in those scenarios and really what happened is I, I took a normal in-home and made it like three minutes. Um, I don't really ask a ton of questions. I don't really get financial stuff. Um, I understand they're young and at least they're um, smart enough to have bought a house that young. So I, I give them a little bit of props there. Um, and I know I can put them in a better situation. So I just, again, I changed what I did. So I'll run through it and, and my deal, uh, I'm out of a house in under five minutes if I'm not gonna get a sale. And if I get one, honestly, it's like 10, 12, 15 minutes max um, with, with a sale, with an app, e-app down the whole nine. Um, and it just, again, it improved, my, it improved my numbers. So if it helps you, great. Um, so for me, the deal is really simple. Um, I walk in, I don't do any really rapport building. Um, I really just ask, you know, if I'm with whatever, Joey, um, did you just buy or refinance? Most of them were purchases when I was out in the field. Um, so I go, all right, do you know how this thing works, Joey? And they all say no. Like I've had one person ever say yes because they had just sat someone the week before and I improved the situation anyway. But outside of that one family or one couple it was, um, everyone that I set, set that up with, hey, do you understand how this thing works? They all say no, which I want them to say. I go, all right, cool. Let me explain this thing. You guys have a 30 year mortgage, right? They say yes. I go, all right, this thing is, um, the way we're gonna set this thing up is it's actually set up for 25 years. Um, I know you have a 30 year mortgage but this, these plans are set up for 25 years where if anything happens to you and you die between now and 25 years, your home is paid for. Um, so whoever your beneficiary is doesn't have to, doesn't have to deal with anything. I'm assuming now if they're, if they're married or single, I just tweak it as needed. You know, if there's, it's a single dude, I go, I assume it'd be mom and dad would have to deal with the place if you died, right? Yes, or if the wife is right there, assume, you know, obviously she'd have to take care of it. We wanna make sure she's good. Um, you know, uh, it, so if you die within 25 years, house is taken care of. If you're still living at the end, basically the way this thing works, it's really cool. Um, 25 years in, basically everything you pay into this program goes uh, to the insurance company. They hold it in a side, like a savings account. At the end of 25 years, you're still living. They give you all that money back. You use that money to pay off this house early. Um, your mortgage payments looks like it's about 800 bucks. You know, it's 10 grand a year, so you knock off 50 grand in mortgage payments. Does that make sense? Um, and they basically just, most of them just say yes from there. And that it makes sense, of course. I go, all right, well, what's gonna happen here? Basically, I'm gonna show you two plans. You're gonna get to pick between the two. Um, and we'll find out in about 10 minutes whether or not you're approved. Essentially, what you get to choose from um, is, and I, I'll, I'll basically map out a 25 year cash back and a 30 year no cash back. And that's really it. 
Um, I show them the full mortgage. I don't really show multiple prices. So once I explain, again, here's what we're gonna do. It pays off the house in 25 years, et cetera. I show them the pricing literally with right after that. I don't, I don't, oh, I back, back up one, one little bit. Right before um, when I explained the 30 year thing, I, I, my deal is I go, are you guys healthy? Like, Joey, are you healthy? Yes, like really healthy? Like don't take any meds whatsoever? Nope, don't take anything. Cause I did get stuck once where someone was younger, had some health issues I couldn't do it on. So healthy, yes. Really healthy, yes. So no medications at all, no history, no nothing, yes. All right, cool, now I can proceed. Explain the 25 year deal again. Um, once I get down to pricing for me, now it's just, again, I assume if, if there's any kickback, there's kickback. You know, if they, if they fight that part, um, certainly I deal with it. If it's, you know, I have to talk to my parents, whatever. But again, usually it doesn't come up there. Almost always it flows really smoothly to that point. Uh, now I just get to pricing and I go, all right, well, here's, here's how this thing works. You have, the first plan is, I'm gonna call it hundred grand. You got a hundred thousand dollar coverage. So if you, if you drop dead of a heart attack in the next 25 years, pays out hundred grand. Cool thing about this program, if some dumbass texts you texting and driving, probably like you were on the way home, it actually pays 50% more. Almost all of them laugh at that point because you know they were probably just texting and driving on the way home. A um, little humor in the middle and, and, and they get the point of the 50% accidental. Again, my deal is on these, I write HMS 150, 25 year cash back on all of them. So some dumbass kills you texting and driving, pays her 50% more, so she get 150,000. Again, at, and the pricing is whatever, 72 bucks, whatever it is. Um, at the end of the 25 years, the amount of cash back is X, whatever it is, it's 800 bucks a year, you know, 10 years, eight grand, over 25, it's, you know, whatever it is, 20 something grand. So I go 70 something bucks a month, at the end of 25 years, you have 25 grand sitting in a savings account, they, they cut your check back for that. Um, the other plan is this one, same thing, pays you the 100 grand, still the same, 150 if the dumbass kills you texting and driving, but this plan is whatever, 42 bucks. The big difference is at the end of this one, and I put a zero and I circle it big, you get zero money back at the end. Um, so those are your two options. Joey, which one do you wanna go with? And that's it. They almost always pick the cash back. Um, again, a couple of them will say I have to check with my parents. I pick up my bag and I leave. But most of them pick the cash back because they see how much cash back they can get. And my deal is I always go, yeah, everybody picks that one. I don't even know why they make me show the other one, but they do. Why don't you grab me your driver's license and avoid check and go in and do the e-app. And it's like, I don't know how long we've been doing this video, five, six minutes. It's, it's literally a three minute in home. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I stopped getting into the emotion a deep why, a financial inventory. I just, it worked for me. Again, if what you're doing works, keep doing it. Don't change a thing. If you struggle in that area like I did, it worked for me. I've told a lot of people about it. And when they do it, it's a short, quick, easy appointment, cash back. So it uh, works for me. Hopefully it works for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Hopefully it helps.